And she makes it like from scratch, like yeah, completely. But like I recently found out um, in Iceland they do more than how frozen uh, lasagna is, and they taste fucking amazing. They taste so good. And I live like two minutes away from Iceland, so best believe what I'll be eating. <laughs> what are some of your goals for this year? Goals for this year? Um, to stay on top of my like work. This like academic year is. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite color. Favorite color. That is not that simple. No, because you don't have one. You have a scheme. I have a scheme. Yeah. I think currently right now, my favorite color is probably blue. What are your hobbies? Hobbies. Reading. I love reading. I can read like books. I can read like three books in a day if I do absolutely nothing else. But yeah. I love reading like romance. I love it like historical fiction. And I do read. Don't judge me, guys. Don't judge me. But I do read a lot of manga and a lot of manhwa. A lot of when I this is a whole different discussion. So moving on. <laughs> um, what do you like and not like about your degree? Ooh, okay. One thing I don't like about my degree is that we specialise really early on. Um, so I studied bioengineering, and so like I initially thought that I'd be able to like get a mix of like bio and engineering for longer. But we only got that for first year, and then in second year, like everyone kind of, they're like two streams. And one's a lot more bio heavy, and a lot more, one's more engineering heavy. So I'm picking one with this more engineering heavy, but I kind of wish I still had that one And there's some modules that the like bio students do that I don't want to do because of my stream. But I do love, oh my god, in my first year, we had cadaver labs. I thought that was my favorite part of last year. <laughs> <laughs> um, any weird food combos? What about like a sauce? I feel like every time I say that, everyone kind of looks at me like I look crazy. I swear to God, just my dad did that. Yeah, just sprinkle a little bit of salt on some marshmallows. It's a cultured thing. It, it just tastes so good. I mean, it's not that weird, but like I always have to put butter and jam. Like some people just put jam. Yeah. And I'm just like, no, he's like, I butter, never butter, understood butter it. Butter yeah, I yeah, I never got it until I did it, and I'm like, like the it it's it that. It's so good, like especially when you have like salted butter, slightly oh. salted with like the sweet. What jam? The what, like what jam, what berry? Strawberry, strawberry jam. I'm a black currant. Really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Life tips you swear by? Mm, I swear by. Be careful what you say. Like your words have so much power, and especially like. Especially if you want to manifest stuff into your life and just live a good life, you really have to be careful about what you say. It's like what you put out is what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. yeah. Always, always let your container dry first. Always let it dry and then like spritz your brush with a little bit of, I don't know, setting spray or like a little bit of water and then just dab and it, let me tell you, it blends your makeup in so, so nicely. Like look, oh, look, where is the makeup? Where is the makeup? <laughs> oh, this is a deep one. Deep. Take us back to your childhood and describe it. Damn. Um, okay, one thing about me is that for a really long time, I was really afraid of having like 
early on dementia i generally <laughs> i generally this think, is a like, shared fear it, yeah it's a shared fear and like i generally think it is because i really don't remember much about my childhood um there are like moments that are like kind of ingrained in my mind that are good and bad guys do you know what they say about people who don't remember their childhood they've got serious trauma issues <laughs> But I grew up with a, such a loving family, like yeah. I two parents, um, I have three little sisters. And, and you weren't even born here to like travel? I, yeah, I wasn't born here, for those who didn't know. I was born in Nigeria and I came here when I was three. Do you remember any significant events? Um, oh, nothing was appropriate to share. <laughs> what are your current obsessions? I feel like you have your go-tos yeah, definitely. but you like to switch it up always switching it up I, yeah that's something about me I just I always need to change like if I feel like I'm in the same like routine for too long I'm like switch yeah. it's like healthy I don't know <laughs> what has been the most pivotal moment in your life um I think the most pivotal moment in my life was I think it was like some time in secondary school um my mum had cancer and I think that was really pivotal to be honest because I don't know, it just kind of forced me to see I'm the older sister, like I had like a ton of responsibilities but I had to like take up a lot of new ones and that fear of like, oh my god, my mum actually could die like, yeah, that was, that was not fun and it was that like a peak moment in your life as well, like you were at GCSEs yeah. and you had like choices to make but you also had like other decisions to make as well and I think it was the first time where, um, like, any sort of family member had, like, come close to dying. Because, like, if I really looked, like, up until last year, both my grandparents were still alive, like, all my aunts and uncles were still alive. Like, I never really had to question how I would react to, like, grief and stuff like that. And it really made me evaluate how I react to bad news. And just a little this is a good one. Um, what jobs have you had? <laughs> what haven't you not had? Like, what have you what not done? I not had, yeah. Um, From the beginning. Are we, are we talking about like. Let's start at Tuck Shop Manager <laughs> back in the day. Back in the day, in primary school. Yeah, we had a Tuck Shop and I was Tuck Shop Manager and I'm pretty sure I had a place in orders at a thing called. I am, like, I actually had like. But like one thing about me is when I was younger, I really didn't have, I wasn't afraid of that much. I think it was all of the ballet performances and the key theatre. I was very, I was very good at performing. Theatre kid. Mm, theatre kid. She can perform, guys. Perfect. Yeah. So, like mentors. Like my first actual, like actual retail job was guys trigger warning, trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, I mean, to me, it, was, it wasn't that bad initially. I got on a lot, like, really well with some of my colleagues. It is quite self-explanatory. Yeah, I don't, I don't really think I have to, like, say anything. And then, obviously, I was working when COVID hit, and then I was on furlough for a bit, so I was like, I'm getting money without doing anything. Making money on our sleep. Pick up, literally. Um, and then, when I got back after COVID, everyone was just too close, too touchy, too crowded, and I was like... I don't get paid enough for this, and so I quit. And then I also worked in lots of different. Oh my gosh! I forgot I worked at the Lats. Um, at this like weird restaurant. Then you worked at like some Michelin star restaurant. Yeah. Oh, bearing in mind, I worked at Primark and that restaurant at the same time. And Greg's. I, I and Greg. I worked three jobs at the same fucking time. I don't know how I did that. I really did. It was the summer before uni. I and we did loaded. not see her. We barely saw her. No. They literally had to come into the restaurant to see me. Yeah, was not the best summer. But I was rich. I was rich. 
it was good and then yeah i worked at this like really really fancy fine dining restaurant that was really intense it was like 30 minutes away from where i live was the food good mm, like, yeah and i and then obviously i've had like tons of jobs at uni this it leads on quite well so what actually motivates you especially getting through that um i feel like what motivates me a lot money i was literally gonna say it's money it's what motivates me through uni is just like graduate with the first like literally like get straight into a graduate scheme get straight into like a really like good like com international company it has to be an international company so i can work like anywhere in the world and i can earn so much money that i can buy my mum a house and she like fly her out on holidays or like whatever because my mum's done so much for me and i just what motivates me is like to be in the position where i could just give back to her 